Good evening. People in a Hartford neighborhood are coming off a long night that included a fugitive arrest and a big fire. Here's how it all started. Captain Jason Gearman with the Minnehaha County Sheriff's Office says officers in unmarked cars were following 36 year old James Lanford Jr. of Sioux Falls, who was wanted on a warrant. Eventually, Lanford pulled into a garage at an apartment complex in Hartford. Well, Gearman says once Lanfer realized law enforcement pulled up behind him, he started ramming the law enforcement vehicle. Lanfer then tried to punch through the back of the garage. Um, the car stuck out about halfway and got hung up. Um, he then got out of the vehicle and ignored any um, commands and crawled through the hole in the garage and then was arrested on the other side of the garage. But that wouldn't be the only trouble of the night. Right after the arrest, the car started on fire and quickly spread. Kelly Kelly Volk spoke with neighbors who lost a lot in that fire. Kelly? And good evening, Sammy. Several garages were connected to the one that Lanfer pulled into. I talked with two people whose belongings were destroyed by the flames. It's not just a pile of burned debris. Look closer and you'll see pieces of people's lives. Take this charred desk, for instance. Kind of a symbol of, of how I feel, just burned out. And it once belonged to Sean Wheeler's brother, Ross. My little brother passed away several years ago, and I had a lot of his things um, that I kept. It's all gone. That's not all she lost when flames took over these garages Tuesday night. All the things that my kids have made through the years for me. Um, my great grandmother's glassware, my granddad's pipe, just all of those little things that you kind of hold on to to remind you of people. Wheeler moved the items to her garage in preparation of an upcoming move out of state. Lori Slagle lost some belongings too, including appliances that were supposed to be put up for sale. There are items that are gone forever, but as long as my son and I and my neighbors are all safe, that's pretty much what has the most value to me. Wheeler shares the same sentiment. Things are not as important as people, and memories cannot be removed from your brain. And to hold on to those and to lean on those people that, that do care about you, and um, life goes on, it will be okay. Which is why she'll pick up the pieces and move on. Now, fortunately, Wheeler didn't have her car in her garage last night, but Captain Gearman said about three or four cars were destroyed. I spoke with the Hartford Fire Chief, Brian Shoemaker, on the phone this afternoon. He says the garage complex is destroyed. He said three apartments did receive some damage, which left some people without a home. No one was hurt. Wow, thank you, Kelly.